Please welcome Seku Andrews. I am a small business owner slash changer of printer toner. I am a chief executive officer slash backup dishwasher. I am a company president slash head of business development slash filer of expense receipt evidence. Who feels me? That's right. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. No, I am the staff administrator. I am the chief of staff. And I am all of the rest of the staff. Who feels me? I, I, I am the executive director slash IP protector slash past due invoice collector slash employee lie detector. <laughs> Who feels me? My nickname is Captain Pick a Letter because I'm the CEO, the CFO, the COO, the CUO, the C, insert any letter here, because I probably do that too. Oh, you best believe I payroll the cost to be the boss. Don't know the meaning of hands off. I got titles, son. I got titles my business card ain't even heard of yet and doesn't have enough space left to accurately reflect the jobs I do myself to make sure they're done correct because my name is Seiku Andrews and I am a Self-made success. Whoa. Whoa. I'm talking about self-made like the DIY desk you bought from Ikea, right? Self-made like your kids' Halloween costumes when you're broke. Self-made like hiring others so I can delegate to someone else, then spending more time managing them STEM than just doing it my damn self. And I know somebody in here fills me with that one. Come on. Come on. All right, all right, all right, cool. So, so now I'm gonna send a shout out to all my control freaks, huh? All, all of us who need our control fix. All of us who stay in control, like Janet Jackson, 1986, huh? Shout out to all the business coaches out there trying to get us to let go of our need to control and of everything else that stunts our growth, right? My coach once gave me advice that changed my life. Everyone in your company should be doing the highest revenue generating activity that only they can do. Those kinds of words, she helped me clarify my intentions, made me insist on specificity, taught me how to hire talent with integrity and fire with dignity. She guides me to solutions I wouldn't have otherwise found. She's always around to help, but always makes me do the work myself, which I do because I am a self-made success, huh? Self-made like, uh, self-made like the slow jam mixtape that you got your girl in ninth grade. Remember that one? With the, had some guy, had some journey and some guy on it. You like that. Self-made like PB and J with the crust cut off. Self-made like in the office on at midnight on a Saturday while the world outside my window celebrates some popular uh, local ritual called a uh, weekend. Perhaps you've heard of it? Yeah, apparently it's all the rave. Yeah, so shout out to all my business owners who can't keep up with all these holidays, right? I mean, yeah, I know when Thanksgiving and New Year's are, but don't come talking to me about some Columbus Day, huh? And when is it not Labor Day? And I only know President's Day by its maiden name, Monday which is the day that I do all my banking and all my billing. So shout out to all my accounting professionals in the building. Huh? Thank you. Thank, no, really, thank you. All the CPAs trying to innovate new ways to cut expense and pay less tax. All the financial managers like fashion stylists trying to keep my bottom line dressed in all black. When I hired my first bookkeeper, can I just, can I just talk to y'all real talk for a minute? Um, when I hired my first bookkeeper, she asked me what accounting program I used to keep my books. And I had to laugh to keep from crying <laughs> as I actually muttered the statement, um, 
Microsoft Word. <laughs> but one year, two QuickBooks accounts, and three downloads from the App Store later, I was reducing my co-mingling, funding my first executive pension plan, and doing my first advanced tax planning sessions. In advance. And, no, you don't understand. Apparently, you don't have to wait. You can do them before it's due. The advance. That was, right? Right? I had an awesome financial team that laid my financial fears to rest, that told me, you just go on stage and kill it the way you do best. And I said, you're damn right I will. You know why? Because I am a self-made success. Self-made like celebrities from YouTube, Instagram, and Twitter, right? Self-made like those birthday cards from your kids with crayon sticks, popsicle sticks, and, and glitter, right? Shout out to all the support teams who get creative like that and lose rest trying to figure out how to enable someone else's success. Like to the attorneys who strategize, advise, and protect to avoid potential threats. The managers, past and present, who have helped me collect bigger and bigger checks and fought for me. Got my career from one level to the next, next, next. Everybody who was here last year, shout out next. Yeah. Next level, right? Shout out to all of, our, all of our employees who live in our spirit of service who share the passion in our purpose, right? And who are the acrobats, clowns, and magicians that give life to our daily circus. It is because of all of these supporters that I was able to go from, from fifth grade teacher to full-time poet to creating a new category of speaking called poetic voice that seamlessly blends inspirational speaking with spoken word poetry and helping the world's largest organizations tell their stories in moving and memorable ways, which I do successfully by myself on stage. You know why, don't you? Yeah, you know why. Because I am a self-made success. Huh? Self-made. Self-made like feature films. Come on, that's right. These three, these three, you guys feel me. Like feature films that you shoot on your iPhone, right? Huh? Self-made like uh, skipping that doctor appointment and asking Google to diagnose your rash from home, <laughs> right? Okay, Google, why is my arm red, right? Shout out to all the small businesses that began with that health plan called, you better take care of yourself, man. <laughs> And shout out to all the people in our lives with whom we surround ourselves for help with how to do that, right? The healthy friend that you let pick the restaurant for lunch, even though you know she's going to pick some annoyingly healthy place, <laughs> just because you also know that her choice will serve you both, right? There are communities with which we preemptively surround ourselves simply because we know that they will be strong enough to bring out our best when we are too weak to do so alone. So shout out to, to the partners and, and the homies, right? The, our spouses, our lovers and life partners who just give us a soft place to land, right? A place to just hang our capes and break from being super woman and man. We don't always need it, but when we do, we do. Right? Like the day that I flew into Boston to give a keynote to a small community of business leaders. And when my wife called me as I was backstage, like she did today, to tell me, you got this, baby, she found me broken and vulnerable. Right? I was worn and exhausted from my spring busy season. I was just getting over three days of food poisoning on the road. I, I, just, I just didn't know why I was there. I was about to speak to a room full of giants, multimillionaires. And, billionaires who were leaders in their industry, so what could they possibly learn from me? I'm trying to get to where they are, right? Trying to learn from them, and instead I had to stand before them and pretend to have something valuable to offer when being among them simply served to remind me how little I had done with my life, how much of a failure I probably looked like to my wife, and how much my failure was about to be exposed by their light and they would see a fraud who puts on makeup over words and sells it as substance. And I was tired of working so hard to sell it. I was tired of being on the road alone. I was just tired, you know? And I wanted to go home. But it was too late. I had preemptively put myself in this community of strength, not knowing 
how weak I would feel before them. And now they were asking me to serve them. And so I manned up and I walked on stage and I did the only thing that I know how to do. I poured into them with all of my humble truth. And one 90 minute keynote later, they stood and gave me one of the longest ovations of my life. Turns out they found connection with me. These, these billionaires testifying that my story, my little story gave them life altering epiphanies about their possibilities. And, and they found education through me, these giants wanting to learn how to speak with authenticity and, and, and passion and find their true voice. And they found inspiration in me and my journey of, of creativity and courage inspired them to transform their life. They found real value in little old me, told me over and over that I was the best speaker they had ever had. And in return, they gratefully poured into me, offering to help me amplify my impact on this world. And that day I discovered that one of the most powerful environments that we could ever experience for growth is a community in which you feel small among your peers while your peers look at you like a giant. To be part of that kind of community that keeps you both humbled and heroic, in which you are both vulnerable and valued, through which you both give service and grow your success, is, is not only the kind of network that can help you increase your net worth, but is the kind of ecosystem that can help fulfill your deepest mission. And you don't have to look far to find that team. They're probably sitting right beside you, striving for the same things, waiting for you to offer, waiting for you to ask, hoping that you'll remember the greatest resource each of you have. Each of you. The greatest resource that each of you have is each of you. So never underestimate the resources that you have to invest that can help make someone's best self-made success. Because being self-made just means being help-made from helpmates who help make your success every day. Okay, one more time for the tweeters, shall we? Get your thumbs ready, get your thumbs ready, okay? Being self-made simply means being help-made from helpmates who help make your success each day. Or to put it another way, the real fun in being self-made is giving others something in which to engage. So remember your purpose. It's why you started your business in the first place. Listen, the electric slide was never meant to be a fun dance by itself. The only purpose in doing the electric slide or the Macarena is to have others join. And I guarantee you that if you were on the dance floor too long doing the wobble by yourself, you will look ridiculous. Like, come on guys, get in there. Hey, big girls, get in. No, no, you'll look ridiculous. So today, let's give a shout out to everybody out there dancing with us. Shout out to my app developer. What? What? Shout out to all my, my app developers who give me custom tech solutions and my interns and volunteers who stay passionately producing and my Intuit customer support folks who don't judge my confusion when I call them asking about questions about QuickBooks that are based on Microsoft Word. Shout out to you. Don't judge me. Don't judge me. And shout out to all the boutique shop owners who keep my image looking fly. And my graphics design guy who keeps my images looking fly. And my marketing consultant who keeps my campaigns fly. And my travel agent who keeps my flights fly. Um, shout out to my mentors who always got my back. And my massage therapist who digs knots out my back. And my chiropractor who deals me that good crack crack. And shout out to all my cleaning ladies and my limo driver, my handyman. Shout out my Twitter followers, my mailing list tribe, all my fans. And shout out to those in my company who are right here beside me on this stage. The unseen members of my team right, who pluralize the success that I've made, who fuel me up, lift me up, sometimes hold me up like a belt and make it seem to you like I am standing here by myself. But I am not 
None of us are, for we are each each other's best. We are each a vital part of an incredible ecosystem for success, and we are each proof that it is possible to be a self-made success on our own, but we are all proof that none of us has to be a self-made success alone. Thank you, QuickBooks. Thank you so much. It's good to see you guys again. I appreciate you. Welcome, and let's go get them. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate you. Thank you.